What's up guys? Today is announcement day. The bar chart race script for After Effects is finally live and available to everybody. We are going to see in today's video how easy it is to create a bar chart race with just a couple of clicks from After Effects using the bar chart script. We are going to see also how to install it and you will understand how you really would like to have it. So for the first weeks uh, I have a discount code uh, available for all my followers. So let's jump into After Effects and see how it works. <laughs> Let me show you how a barber chart is working. Very well, of course. So, uh, you have opened uh, um, After Effects. Uh, once you have uh, installed the script, it will be on, uh, uh, available on your screen. You can put it wherever, wherever you like. Uh, the installation guide will follow uh, later in the, in the video. Um, so, what you're going to do is just to uh, import a CSV file containing the data that you want to animate. Um, it's uh, very easy. So just click on this. You can choose the data that you want to uh, play with. I will provide you with uh, some sample CSV data. Just double click and the um, CSV file has been loaded into the project. Once you have done this, you can put, uh, you can choose your own uh, title. Uh, this is my title. Um, this is uh, will be the name of the composition that will be created and also the um, title that will be shown at the top of the of the composition above the bar chart race. Then you have the duration in seconds. You can choose uh, to do whatever length you, you want. It's uh, it's up to you really. Yeah, it depends on how 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 long you want it to be. Uh, Ten seconds uh, for uh, is the is the standard value and the width of uh, the composition in pixel not really the width of the composition but the maximum width of the of the bar charts so once you have chosen this you just click click on create chart and the script will do his job the bar chart rate has been created and it's available to you uh, you can already preview it and and play with it you see, uh, now that uh, the bar chart trace has been created, you can still uh, play a little bit with it. You can modify some parameters. Uh, mainly, you have just to look at the config layer here on the bottom. You have a, a bunch of uh, parameters that you can play with. Uh, for instance, uh, you have the uh, on the bot let's start from the bottom. You have the visible bars. Uh, the, the number of the bars is, is really it depends on what you have uh, on the, your CSV file. It's pre-compiled with that, but you can modify if you just want the first four. You just select four here, and the, it will be uh, automatically adapted. You see that the 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 bars get up and down from the screen depending which are the first four on uh, on the race. So let's put back six. The second parameters that you can use is the order by. Uh, this has been uh, asked by some of you in the last uh, uh, version. You can actually select the order of, uh, of the of the bars, so it's ascending, descending. You see that it's it's really real time, and no order. When you click on no order, it just follows the order uh, which is which comes from the from the CSV file. So this you see that it's not changing position with that. Um, you have uh, this value min max parameter. This uh, is really uh, pre-calculated. Uh, once you import the CSV file, the script, just uh, uh, browse into all the data and uh, see which is the minimum and the maximum value uh, in, the, in, the, in the CSV file. So if you want, you can modify it, uh, but yeah, I recommend you, you, you keep these uh, values. The table uh, XYD is actually the um, width of this uh, table, you can modify it. This is the 600 uh, that you have selected uh, when, uh, on, the, on, the, on the script. You can modify it 
uh, and you see that uh, it's uh, updating in real time on the width of the table. And that's all for the width. Then you have another parameter, which is this BG uh, grid, background, which stands for background grid. It's this uh, vertical lines here. Uh, normally it's, it's pretty fine to show about 10 of these lines, but you can put uh, the, the, the interval that you want. Uh, for instance, if you want a line every 50, uh, you see you have less, uh, less uh, or you can have more, uh, yeah, like that. BG grid multiplier, you don't really need to, to look at this. And this is just used when uh, we have uh, very high um, values uh, on the, in, the, in the data above 1 million, because it's not uh, managed by the slider. But yeah, it's, it's calculated by, by the script itself. And then uh, this max data rows uh, is the 26, is the number of uh, of rows in the CSV file. This is also pre-calculated by the script. The duration is the 10 seconds that you have uh, um, chosen uh, while running the script. So that's all. It's, uh, you see, it's, it's very easy to, to create a, a script. It's very uh, quick as well. Uh, you can, for instance, also create another one. Uh, let me show you one with much, much more um, values of this one is containing uh, data which I've downloaded uh, online uh, so this can be a pandemic whatever um, we can say 15 seconds make it a bit longer and create a chart and voila you see that the, the uh, script has been created now we, we have a, a, these are the data for one year, so we have about uh, yeah 360 values, and you see that uh, yes at the beginning the the values are very small because the scale yeah it's uh, it's very it's very big, but yeah that that's uh, it's working exactly the same as the other one. The speed really depends on what we have chosen here in the the duration, and uh, and that's uh, that's it. You have uh, some, yeah, the values are shown here on the screen. So that's it. You see, it's very easy to use. If you have uh, any question uh, about the usage of, of the script, you can go to the Discord um, server, the Discord chat that I've set up. Uh, the link is uh, down on the description below. Uh, so that you can uh, ask whatever question you have, uh, or you can also ask for improvement. Uh, I will try to put uh, this uh, in the in the coming versions. Um, yeah, that's it. Now let's uh, have a look at uh, the installation guide. Okay, let's see the installation guide for the script. It's very easy. Um, let me show you what you are going to receive uh, once you buy the, the script. So first of all, you will receive a, a zip file containing a, a bunch of, uh, of files. Uh, you have the Parbat chart uh, JSX bin uh, file, which is the script itself. And then you will have three or four, two, I don't know, uh, it depends on the version, examples of uh, data that you can play with them to, to to load the the table at the first uh, during the, your first test, data one, data two, and maybe another one uh, CSV file. After that, uh, you will have uh, this uh, license txt, which will explain what you can and what you can't do with the uh, with the script. But mainly, it just says that you can't uh, give uh, out uh, my script. Uh, to anybody else. And then you have this installation guide.txt which just uh, is saying what I'm going to explain to you right now. So, very easily, um, you have to get this uh, JSBean file, uh, you copy it into the uh, script UI panels of your uh, uh, After Effects installation. It depends on the if you have a Mac or um, a Windows PC. So for me, I have a Windows PC. For me, it's in the C program file Adobe Adobe After Effects uh, on your version super file uh, script script UI panels. Once you are in this uh, uh, in this uh, folder, you just Command or Control V and uh, you copy the the file. I already have it uh, in in my folder, so I'm gonna skip it. But once you have copied it, you have to 
uh, you ha if you have an After Effects already open, you should uh, close it and restart it, or otherwise you simply restart it. And once you open it again, you will see that in the window menu, on the bottom, you will have this uh, uh, JXBin uh, file that you just copied. You click on it, and it will appear uh, on the screen. So this is window. It's a Docklebull uh, plugin a script. So you just uh, you can you can put it wherever you want on uh, on your uh, on your uh, screen. I like to put it here on the top right side, and that's it. You can start using it, uh, importing file, etc. That's all for the installation guide. Guys, it's time to understand how to get this script, okay? It's very easy. So first of all, you go to the web page cloudyabarba.gamroad.com. Uh, Gamroad is a, is a marketplace where a lot of creators sell their, uh, their uh, creations. So I have my page in this. Uh, once you are on this page, you can go to the, click on the, on the Barba chart. And you will see that uh, there, there is a little bit of description, more or less, what I have already said in this uh, in this uh, video. Uh, you should click on "I want this." Uh, you see that you won't have any discount if you do it directly. Okay. Uh, so how to get a discount code? It's very easy. So. Once you are on this page, you go to the bottom, uh, you have got to follow me. Uh, so there is uh, this uh, link uh, toward the end of the page, uh, claudiobarba.gumroad.com slash follow. You click on it, you just uh, write your email, whatever it is, subscribe. You will receive two uh, emails. The first one is to confirm your uh, email. And the second one, once your email is confirmed, you will receive the discount code that you will be able uh, to uh, use on this uh, on this page. So you will, I want this. You will have to put your discount code in in here, and after that you can um, proceed with the, with the payment, and you will receive the zip file containing all the uh, stuff that I've already shown you in the, uh, today. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, the work I have done. It took me some uh, months to set it up. So uh, please uh, feel free to uh, ask questions. Uh, like this video if you are interested in seeing more of this. Uh, subscribe to this uh, channel, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.